now we will discuss the mode of breathing or respiratory system in the case of certain aquatic animals like fishes most of the aquatic animals because they always live in water so they have certain specific organs to intake oxygen from the water dissolve oxygen and thereafter they removed out the carbon dioxide by specific organs they do not possess lungs just, just like terrestrial animals except whale you know the whale are mammals and they are only found in marine ecosystem in ocean but not in fresh water ecosystem they only live in oceans and seas. seas they possess lungs just like us but most of the aquatic animals like fishes do not possess lungs they have a special type of organ which take part in respiration breathing we will understand here that is special structures and what is the function of that special structure that is special structure is gills gills are found in the buccal cavity oral cavity of the fishes you know the gills are the special structure which exclusively take part in breathing to intake oxygen and thereafter to exhale out the carbon dioxide this organ will take part you understand try to understand by this diagram you see the diagram of fish these are the fins this is the tail fin you know this is mouth what it is mouth two slits understand two slits opposite side just after the eyes these are the slits slits means are getting yes. slits cutting slits first slit is this and second slit is this inside the slits reddish filamentous structures are found here just my red i am drawing see here filamentous structures is found here inside the slits these filamentous structures reddish filamentous structures are called as gills what they are called gills gills, gills are the special structures found in fishes for respiration for in taking or inhaling the oxygen by the process of diffusion again you remember again you see here also in the case of fishes diffusion is the process for inhaling the oxygen number of number of thin thin blood vessels are found in the gills in the gills they are also called as capillaries blood capillaries 
by the process of diffusion the oxygen dissolved in wa water diffuses in the blood vessels found in the gills thereafter the oxygen reaches in the various cells cells of the feces there actual respiration takes place to release the energy you know the what is respiration actual respiration or cellular respiration in last session we have already discussed that is the cellular respiration in each and every cells of the organism the cellular respiration takes place again i am repeating during the cellular respirations the digested food materials breaks into it, its component components are carbon dioxide and water and good amount of energy is released this is the actual respiration it is also called as cellular respiration again i am repeating thus here you are finding the carbon dioxide is the one of the product and you know the carbon dioxide is harmful so it should be removed so all the organisms are having a specific way to remove the carbon dioxide from their bodies in the case of feces also again by the process of diffusion the carbon dioxide is removed out from the blood vessels of the gills and then again dissolve in the waters here for facilitating the breathing it is very much essential that gills are always remain in touch with the water so the feces always intake water by their mouths always feces in water always used to open its mouth so that water can enter continuously and water ultimately passes through this gills this is the first gill this is the second gill passes through the gills and during this passage of the water the gaseous exchange takes place by the blood vessels or blood capillaries found in the gills just to be understood all the breathing takes place in the case of feces and or aquatic animals now we will discuss the breathing by lungs breathing by lungs most of the terrestrial multicellular big animals like human being other also cow dogs cats elephants perform the breathing by a special structure lungs lungs and most of the terrestrial organisms have a specific respiratory system consisting of different respiratory organs here we will understand the respiratory system of the human being to understand the mode of respiration by lungs first we will draw the diagram of the respiratory system of the human being the system of the human being consists of mainly first nose then trachea third is bron bronchus bronchus fourth is bronchioles fifth lungs two lungs pair of lungs this is the sketch diagram 
of the respiratory system just we have started to understand. You see this tube like structure is also called as windpipe or trachea. What it is called? Trachea. 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 Actually trachea in the buccal cavity, buccal cavity or mouth cavity opens just near to the opening of the your food pipe. Food pipe. In the same passage. This same passage is called as pharynx. Same passage where the trachea or wind pipe wind pipe opens is called as pharynx. You know the pharynx? Pharynx is the common passage where food pipe and wind pipe opens. And this pharynx is attached with the nasal passages. Nasal, nasal passages. Finally, the nas nasal passage opens here in your nose by nasal apertures. Two nasal apertures are found in your nose. This is your nose. Oxygen enters. Oxygen enters through the nasal apertures and reach in the pharynx. After that, the oxygen reaches in the windpipe or trachea. Trachea consists of number of cartilaginous rings. Cartilaginous rings you see here. Rings are found. So that the trachea cannot collapse. Cannot collapse. If the trachea will close, then human being will die because the supply of the oxygen will completely stop. So the trachea, wall of the trachea is made up of number of cartilaginous rings. This trachea or wind pipe divides in your thoracic or chest part into two branches. These branches two branches are called as bronchus. Bronchus. Bronchus is the singular and bronchi is the plural. And thereafter each bronchus enters into respective lungs. In your chest, in your thoracic region, two lungs are found. Each bronchus opens into one lungs. This is lungs. In lungs, the bronchus divides into number of branches. Number of branches. Those branches are called as bronchioles. Those branches are called as, these are the bronchioles, you see. Bronchioles. Bronchioles. Lungs is a very spongy, spongy structure. Sick like structure, spongy, sick like. What? Spongy, sick. Spongy, sick like structure. And it consists of number of small, small. Again, here, with red I am drawing. A small, a small bag like, sack like structures. Like this. This cavity or sack like structures are called as alveoli. L Rely. in which the bronchioles open and in each alveoli thin blood vessels are found or blood capillaries you may tell. Just I am drawing the here a diagram of a 
single alveoli you see try to understand in the each and every alveoli very thin thin blood vessels are formed like this network there is a network of blood vessels network of blood capillaries whenever oxygen reaches in the lungs again by the process of diffusion again by the process of diffusion oxygen enters into the blood vessels blood vessels of the human being from there you know that in rbc red blood corpuscles a red pigments is formed that red pigment is called as hemoglobin this is very much important part of the respiratory system for your blood rbc because hemoglobin found in the red blood cells of the human being are the carrier of gases just at the entry of the oxygen in the blood vessels hemoglobin of the rbc catches pick up the oxygen and carry the oxygen to the various cells for what for respiration cellular respiration in that case the hemoglobin which carry the oxygen called as oxyhemoglobin you note down what hemoglobin is called in that case the oxygen carrying hemoglobin are called as oxyhemoglobin what they are called oxy hemoglobin hemoglobin and they carry the oxygen to the site of respiration what are the sites of respiration various cells various cells of the human beings are the site of actual respiration their actual respiration takes place after completion of respiration carbon dioxide is formed then the hemoglobin of the rbc pick up the carbon dioxide and then start carrying the carbon dioxide up to the alveoli of the lungs there they release out the carbon dioxide in the lungs and from there by the process of exhalation carbon dioxide is pushed by the lungs into the trachea from there the heavy carbon dioxide is exhaled out from the nose here one specific organ we will discuss in later on in next class that is called diaphragm diaphragm is just jo hai ki found beneath the both the lungs in the thoracic region in chest region diaphragms play very important role in contraction and expansion of the lungs lungs actually serves as a pump pump for inhaling the oxygen and exhaling the carbon dioxide in contraction and expansion for inhalation and exhalation respect respectively diaphragm played very important role in next class we will discuss the expansion or contractions of the lungs for inhalation and exhalation to understand this process we will discuss an activity in next class hai na okay by this lecture i am concluding this session thank you very much